Welcome to Inside PS Vita, an inside look at the future of portable gaming. Coming up in this episode, we take an inside look at the power and performance of the PS Vita. We're trying to take um, the Uncharted experience and then bring it to the next level with something you could not do on the PS3. With all these touch controls, it just opens up a whole new world. I think they'll have a sense of disbelief once they see this thing running in the palm of their hands. So, what can we expect power and performance wise from the PS Vita? The horsepower in this thing was just amazing. I mean, quad core GPU, quad core CPU, OLED screen, I mean, it had everything, the bells and whistles, you know, everything you could think of, this thing was gonna have it. This machine is gonna change the way handheld gaming is gonna be perceived from this point on. When they told us that they wanted us to make an Uncharted game, we were all blown away. We're like, you've got to be kidding me. Sweet, you know, it was so much fun. So that's how it started. It was, it was like a dream combination of new portable hardware and Uncharted IP both brought together and we get to do it. We knew that, you know, if we made the best PS3 game we could, on the Vita, we would have failed. And that was our mantra from the beginning. We want to create an Uncharted for the Vita. Naughty Dog was very helpful. I mean, they give us what we needed, animation, environment, and tons of information. Basically, we can bring the same graphic quality to the, for the PS3 to the PlayStation Vita, which is insane. Now that we've got the dual sticks, you know, and then the motion technology, plus the front and rear touchscreen, um, the two cameras, it's just been amazing. The first things we started looking at were the, was touch and how you could actually really interact with the environment, actually being able to, to point in the, in the environment, drag your finger across the environment and have Drake follow along. When we were doing the back panel, for example, we came up with the idea of climbing ropes. So we were trying always to use the feature of the Vita uh, in a sense that we will bring something to the game. We can do the traditional controls, you know, aiming and firing. But what we wanted to do for the Vita is add something a little bit more uh, dynamic to the system. So the main thing that we did is when you're aiming around, you can aim with the right stick and then you can just tilt to adjust your aim. You've got a touchscreen, front and rear. So for example, what we decided to do for grenades is when you're holding the system, you can touch the grenade and just drag it into the scene wherever you want. It's really easier to aim on, our, on the Vita, funny enough, uh, than any other system, any other game that we've ever played. And we're pretty proud of that. Vita has a OLED screen. And um, I had never worked with that technology before, but um, the first impression you get of this device is that screen. The blacks are so deep, the whites are crystal clear. Um, it's the perfect palette for an artist to work on. The most amazing thing about the Vita isn't the two analog sticks or the OLED or the gyro or the back touch or any of that, it's the memory. It was like having enough memory to be able to make whatever we could imagine and not have to, and not have to compromise. It's important that the, the machine has enough power to be able to drive something so visually stunning and so engaging in gameplay. That's been exciting to us and we've been pushing every, every element of it that we could, which is necessary to pull off Uncharted. But one thing that's certainly exciting about moving to the PlayStation Vita, especially coming from the PSP, is that we have trophy support now. So, you know, players are, on the PlayStation Vita are going to get the same sort of gameplay experience that they've they're accustomed to on the PS3. And new aspects that, that have been brought to the PlayStation Vita is the live area activity feed, um, where we're actually providing achievements in the game. So as you're progressing through the game, the player can get the sense of, hey, I'm accomplishing something as, I, as, I'm, as I'm going. And, and these achievements are actually being posted out and they can see it, they can comment on it, see what their friends are doing, see how their friends are progressing through the game, which I think is, again, a lot more engaging. You know, working with Naughty Dog was a challenge only because those guys are the best at what they do. They set the bar so high. One of the reasons why our game looks so close to Uncharted is we're actually using a lot of Naughty Dog's assets. It's quite amazing, actually, that we were able to take PS3 assets, plop them directly into a portable device. It's kind of crazy. Uncharted fans will appreciate the game because it's not just a rehash of Uncharted. We didn't port Uncharted 1 or Uncharted 2. We actually made a brand new game. Not until actually finally playing the game 
at the end. Did it all come together and you could see it and go, wow, this is incredible. This is something that, that nobody's ever going to be able to experience other than on this device. Don't miss the next edition when we take a look at all the new ways you can play games only on Inside PS Vita. We can now make games that give pinch, pull, touch, drag around objects. When we found out what the spec was, I think we were quite inspired by just how much stuff it can do. Thanks for watching. See you next time.